Modern rotographs are designed using very sophisticated computer tools or computer models. These models have evolved over the past several decades using our experience from designing previous helicopters. These sophisticated models need to be improved and needs to be validated every now and then. That's where the experiments come. The experiments provide real-world data, real-world information to validate these tools. My name is Mani Ramaswamy. I'm a senior scientist with University Affiliated Research Center working on experimental helicopter aerodynamics at NASA Ames Research Center. At NASA Ames Research Center, we have various size wind tunnels. These wind tunnels help us conduct helicopter research at various scales, from as small as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, to as large as a full-scale helicopter. And by changing the operating conditions of these wind tunnels, one can simulate various helicopter operating flight conditions. When we conduct experiments, we are looking for several things. First of all, I use laser and optics-based measurement techniques to evaluate and characterize the tip vortex flow field or the wake behind a helicopter rotor. In terms of tip vortices, we are learning more about how they evolve over a period of time. We are learning about the turbulence characteristics and this will help us design techniques to diffuse these tip vortices. From dynamic stall perspective, we are understanding the physics behind dynamic stall. We are trying to see how the dynamic stall occurs and the data helps us understand what happens during the onset of dynamic stall. The data that we collect are used in two ways. First, these are used to develop simple empirical mathematical models. These mathematical models help us define or design new techniques that will help us alleviate the tip vortex adverse effects. Alternatively, these mathematical models can be fed directly into these computational simulations used to design rotor blades. And this is very key because these tip vortices have many adverse effects that directly affect the helicopter performance. So a better model of this tip vortex means improved predictive capability of the computational model that help design the helicopters. What really fascinates me in this research are simply the challenges. We all know every problem has a solution and achieving that solution from simple fundamental flow physics and mathematical perspective. That's what keeps me motivated every day. If a student were to ask me about pursuing a career in aerodynamics, I would suggest them to be strong in their leadership skills and be fundamentally strong in mathematics and fluid mechanics. Most often you'll be leading a group of researchers here in your task and if you want to be successful you have to develop your leadership skills.